I'm going to show you a little bit about DNS tunneling uh, over port 53. Uh, so obviously for, for SSH as well to allow you to maybe connect to the internet uh, and proxy through your home machine where maybe port 22 is not open on the network that you're using or maybe the, you are somewhere such as an airport or or uh, a cafe where you have to enter a username and password to get onto the internet. Um, now a similar feature was shown on the Hack 5 show uh, which used the Aussie Man DNS method but this I'm going to use is the DNS to TCP and this comes pre-installed on the Backtrack distro and to use this you need to ensure that you have port 53 forwarded on your your firewall so first things first we're going to uh, look at the configuration of the DNS to TCP and this is located at etc DNS to TCP dot conf and this is the setup that I've got at the moment uh, first is uh, the listening port, the listening uh, network card uh, that generally usually says 127.0.0.1 I've changed it to 0000, so I can listen on all uh, interfaces. You can leave the port as 53, the user and shoot you can leave uh, as they were. And the domain here is one that maybe you have you have got from DIN DNS or no IP. Uh, you need to set this to your location of where your SSH is running. Or that, you know, if this is running at home, then this uh, host there needs to be pointing to your, your home IP. And then we have two resources, which is SSH, which is what I'm going to be using, and then SMTP. But again, we're going to be using the SSH. Uh, again, very simple to set up. So we're going to come out with that. And then once we've come out with that now, we need to get this thing running. Now to get this running, all I'm going to do is type DNS to TCP. Now we have two options for here. We have the TCPC, which is the client, and we have TCPD, which is the server. So what we're going to do is use the server. I'm going to tack Z. I'm now going to enter, well, I do apologize. We're going to tack F, sorry. And then I'm going to get the, con the, the location of the configuration file, which is there. And then I'm going to at AMP and start that running. Now, to make sure that that machine is now listening on port 53, I'm going to run a net start uh, minus A. And I'm going to just look for the domain. Just to make sure, yep, and there we go, we're, we're listening on port 53 UDP, and that is now running. Again, make sure that port 53 is forwarded uh, on your firewall. Uh, on my firewall, I would have 50, uh, port 53 forwarded to 2.12 here. So, now we can leave that running. We're going to be now going to a location that doesn't, that either you have to pay for the internet, uh, or maybe... Um, your port 22 is not allowed out. So now on next, uh, a remote location and the first command obviously you need to do is to ensure that DNS to TCP is installed. Now in any Linux distress it's generally apt-get or yum DNS to TCP. Um, so once that's installed uh, the, the command is no configuration on this side of things it's just DNS to TCP and again is the client and the, the server we want to use the client and then I'm going to tack Z. I'm going to now enter the DNS name uh, from DIN DNS, uh, which I've already set up. And this is .org. And then typing in the IP address of where all this is hosted. Now mine is at my home address. And there you go. They are the two resources that I have available. Uh, SSH which is port 22 and SMTP port 25 so I can see that they are were able to get there now to to be able to route my traffic through my home address uh, the command is DNS to TCP C once again tac Z again the DIN DNS name dot org I'm then going to map a local port uh, of say I know 8888 and then tack R for the, what I'm going to be using at uh, you know the session which is either the SSH or SMTP so I'm going to use SSH uh, I'm then going to type in again the IP address of my home connection and I'm now listening on port 8888 now once that is listening you can now set up an SSH connection to your home address so I'm going to minimize that 
and in a new session I'm now going to SSH into the root account but obviously because this is listening locally I need to put in localhost and I just change the port number so I'm going to again type uh, I'm listening on port 8888 and I'm going to set a dynamic of 8080 of which I will be able to input into my Firefox uh, once this is done so I'm now going to try and enter now there you go that is asking me now for the password of my home SSH so I'll just type that in and there you go I'm now connected to my home SSH server uh, where port 22 is blocked uh, so I'm now routing everything through port 53 uh, DNS and again if you was at a location like an airport so what I'm going to do is change uh, the settings or the preferences and then settings I'm going to set a manual proxy and set the SOX host of the local machine and on port 8080 so I'm going to select OK for that I'm then going to refresh that and I've got a session if I now go to say IP chicken you'll see that I am now running from my home address so there you go guys uh, if, if if you have got the backtrack or maybe uh, a Linux distro running at home and you have got an SSH uh, running but maybe port, 50, port 22 is blocked going out uh, and maybe you have somewhere that you, you you know you run an internet cafe and you don't fancy you don't have a username and password to enter to be able to browse then this method should uh, should work for you I, uh, I hope this video uh, has helped somebody thank you